Good evening, everyone. Hello. <clears throat> I've made a, a little impromptu visit to the Facebook Live. I hope you're all well. Um, if you can see me, do say hello. Um, hopefully I'm live. Good evening. Good evening. Hopefully some of you can join me soon. Um, I thought I'd just pop in here and... Uh, see how everybody is sort myself out make myself look decent good evening if you can see me do say hello it's always nice to know where everybody's from because you tend to find that uh you see the problem areas appear in the uk um so do say hello um i'm just coming here this evening to see oh there's plenty of you watching um to see how you all are Oh, I think there's a bit of a delay on the comments. I'll come to you in a second. I can see there are comments. Ah, oh, there we go. They're popping up now. Hi, Carrie. Love the little wave. It does prompt me to wave. Hi, Helen. Do say hello. Let me know where you're from. Hi, Nat. I know where some of you are from. I won't out to you unless you say it. <laughs> so do say hello. Let me know where you're from. And let me know how your holidays are going. We're a few days in. Maybe a week for some people. Leicestershire tend to break up early, don't they? Um, so do say hello. Let me know how you're bearing up. Is it going well? We always have a mix. We've got all the kids who absolutely cannot cope with school and they're having a blissful time right now. Parents are chilling out. It's delightful. And there's other parents going, oh, I need my structure back because my kids are going mad. <laughs> so do say hello. Oh, there's plenty of you. Hello, hello, hello. This is great. Hi, Angela. Hi, Annie. Uh, let's see who else we've got. Hi, Alison. Hello, Tina. Hi, Natasha. Hi, Jane. Hi, Laura. Hi, Carmel from Derby. I'm in Derby. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Marie. Hi, Sarah. Sarah's from North Hampshire. Marie's from Sunderland. So do say hello. Let me know how your holidays are going. Are they going good? Hi, Gemma. Hi, Emma from Hertfordshire. Let me know. Oh, hi, Angela from Stoke-on-Trent. That's not too far. Um, hi, Gemma in Derby. And Chadiston. Oh, well, that's very close to our new Sunshine Community Hub, Alison. So you must come and have a look. Come and say hello. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Corin. Hi, Lisa. Lisa says, hello. I'm loving having my son at home. It's wonderful. Just part of our holiday. I'm not looking forward to. Oh, okay. Hi, Laura from Burton. Emma says the kids broke up on Friday. So just at the start, same as mine. Same as mine. Still enough to give me a little bit of an inkling of how it's going to work out, though. <laughs> ah, that's why I'm on here talking to you lot. I need some adult company, you know. Um, hi, Claire from Milton Keynes. Hi, Nicola from Chester. Um, so how are your holidays going, guys? Are they going good? Bad? Natasha says it's been tricky, but also good. EHCP has been granted. One on the way and third one starting. Crazy forms and evidence for other things. 44 pages. Never a break. Oh, well done you. Three EHCPs. I mean, that deserves a round of applause. Go and pour yourself a massive gin or wine or whatever floats your boat because that is absolutely incredible. Hi, Elle from Devon. Having a huge emotional release. The school is over for the summer. Breathing a huge sigh of relief. <laughs> There's so many parents the same. So many parents. Um, Vicky says, loving the lack of dysregulation. You know, this is evidence, guys. This is evidence. Make sure you're writing it all down and recording it. So glad we've finally broken up, Gemma says. Had an amazing month, correct, uh, as an amazing, uh, she's had an amazing month, sorry. Correct diagnosis at last after nine and a half years and a special school placement. Well done, that's incredible. Natasha says she has a gin. Natasha, you know, you're in my tribe. I love it. Um, <clears throat> Crystal says, hi, are we waiting to hear back if we get any HCP? It's gone through to the panel. Very stressed with the wait. Keeping everything crossed for you, uh, Crystal. Let us know if you need any help. Remember, anybody who's watching, if you need any help with any of this stuff, we are here for it. Just let us know and we'll, we'll absolutely help you. Um, oh, Emma says she's just won a tribunal for an EHCP. 
Well done. Absolutely incredible. Gin for you. We need to get a sunshine gin. That's what we need. Hmm. I'll get on it. Uh, Corin says, lots of preparation for our foreign holiday, setting expectations and calming nerves. Very glad to not have morning struggles with getting to school. Oh, yes. That preparation is absolutely key, isn't it? It is literally the make or break of a holiday. Um, Kate says, had a lovely morning out with my littlest yesterday at the local parent care of foreign family meetup. Such a relief to go somewhere where there is no judgment. Oh, that is always a massive relief, you know, when you can actually go somewhere and people just get it. There's no explaining. There's no sort of having to, oh, you know, sorry about my child for doing that. Or, yeah, you know, they're a little bit different because of X, Y, Z. They just get it. There's no explanation. I love it. For those who can get to Derby, who are or maybe are in Derby, we have weekly cuppa and chats over the summer that you can come to with your kids. So kids are welcome. Um, just come along. They're on Thursdays between 1 and 3 p.m. every Thursday. You can book via our website just so we know how many we've got because we've got to limit it a little bit, obviously. Um, but we've got a lovely big space. We've got a sensory tent. We've got bean bags. We've got weighted blankets, weighted toys, sensory corner, um, places for the teenagers to hang out. Um, and it's growing all the time. So if you are in Derby or you can get to Derby, remember we've got that space available every Thursday, one till three. Just come along. We will have plenty of coffee, plenty of cold drinks, cake, whatever. You can bring your own stuff as well if there's stuff that you prefer or your kids would uh, prefer. So do come along to that. Um, I'll post some links later. If you want the links, just let me know. Um, let's see what else we've got. Um, all recorded in paediatric tomorrow to discuss Connor three form result. Oh, good luck, Vicky. Good luck. Um, Haley says we won at tribunal. My son will be getting his EHCP. Oh, hey, Haley, I'm thrilled for you. I remember that feeling. It is literally, it feels like life or death, doesn't it? When you're waiting for that, that decision. So that's absolutely incredible. Um, okay. This is a very sad one. Trigger warning here. Um, no kids because they've been removed from so by social services crap holidays ehcp requested for two kids still undiagnosed autism pda and adhd and i think helen i'm so sorry um and of course this is the reality of a lot of send parenting um that you just you get absolutely walloped by social care um and it absolutely breaks my heart it triggers me every single time um, because it's appalling the state of the social care system some of the, the cases that we dealt with last week we had to have constant therapeutic support between our team because we were all traumatized and that's us working on a case you can't well I can't even begin to imagine how the parents are feeling um, we had a lot of depressed parents last week and so Helen my my heart goes out to you do use our cuppa and chat services for that support you know we've got our online cuppa and chat we, if you can make it to the in-person cuppa and chat um the online cuppa and chat is probably a safer forum because it's just parents rather than parents and children um and so we can have a, a dedicated room to have some some chats with you so um but I, you know this is happening up and down the country and it's absolutely appalling um i have a lot of of viewpoints um on social care as people probably already know um good evening lisa um lisa uh it was me that you were speaking to and uh i am so delighted that you've loved our box of sunshine lisa bought a couple of boxes of sunshine which is our boxes of all the the uh, infographics and resources and she's been making up packs for local families as part of home start and tia's treasures and they're absolutely amazing. The picture actually that you sent in will go out tomorrow on our social media pages. So do have a look. Um, but I was absolutely thrilled to see that. I actually cried a little bit, Lisa. Am I a bit of a wimp? I don't know. Um, hi, Hayley. Um, hi, Crystal. Um, hello, Kathy. Oh, thank you very much for the compliment. I thought khaki, I don't normally go with subdued colors, but I thought khaki might go with my uh, ginger hair, fake ginger hair obviously uh but thank you very much i like a compliment 
Hi Sophie, my son's EHCP request to assess has just been approved. What can I expect next? As it's all gone quiet. Right Sophie, on our website we have got a downloadable resource, completely free, um, that tells you step by step what to expect. Um, we've also got a web uh, webinar that's recorded, got, ugh, I'm gonna need to get my words out, that's recorded on our Sunshine Academy that talks you through the entire process. Um, but basically once they've um, accepted that he needs an assessment, you then undergo the assessment period. So you should start to be contacted now by the different people to request the assessments. Um, and then they have until week 16 or 18 to say whether they're going to actually provide you with an EHCP. So, but I would definitely watch that webinar if you can on the Sunshine Academy. I'll post a link once I've come off um, because that will tell you more about what to expect and also when you have a right of appeal because that's really important as well because if you disagree with anything they say, there's certain points where you have a right of appeal. Um, but it's a full two hour webinar. So you can imagine I can't cover much of it now, but definitely watch that and download the resources from our website. I'll post the links in a bit. Claire says EHCP rejected now going to tribunal. Oh, Claire, get in touch because actually we've managed to avoid tribunal most of the year this year. Um, there aren't many of our cases, if any at all, that have gone through to tribunal. We've managed to negotiate and get them to concede before. So get in touch. Let's see if we can do that for you. Just send us a message. Um, evening, George Mulholland. <laughs> George is Sunshine George. You will have spoken to George at some point if you've messaged the page or got in touch with our events team. George and I manage the, the communications behind the scene. Uh, George says he knows an excellent brewery that does bespoke gin in West Wales. I actually know one as well in South Wales. I think all the good gin comes from Wales. There's also the one up north as well. So maybe we can have a little word, George, and go back to our roots. George is also Welsh, um, although he doesn't sound it. Um, and I'm actually Welsh. And pe some people say I don't sound it either. Um, Alison is waiting for a placement for our youngest son. Seems no one can meet me because of academic ability. I want high grain, she says. Ah, oh, I know that school. Um, and I've just done the two annual reviews for my two eldest children. You're busy, Alison. You are busy. Come and see us in our Sunshine Hub because it cannot be far away from you. We are just off Rainsway in Derby. So it's very central, tons of parking. Have a look at our website to see what events we've got on to make sure that we're in, because we're always out in the community as well. Um, but do come and see us. Um, Leanne says, I'm really struggling. My son breaks up on Tuesday and I'm dreading the holidays. He starts college in September. It's so hard, isn't it, when your kids need that routine and they really thrive off that getting up at a certain time, catching the bus or whatever, going to, to somewhere. It is really, really tricky. Again, Leanne, do have plenty of self-care because the way that we help to regulate our kids is making sure that we are regulated first. So <coughs> by self-care, I don't mean you have to go on spa days, although wouldn't that be nice? So if you can go, do go. Um, but it's just doing the things that, that really do calm us down, help us switch off um, when we can and taking those opportunities. It might just be, you know, for me, I'm I love a bath. I've I've said that several times on Facebook Live. And for me, it's having that hour dedicated to just switching off, doing some mindfulness, um, or listening to an audio book, you know, that sort of thing. But make sure that you're looking after you. It's not selfish, it's actually really selfless to be able to look after you first. Like putting on the oxygen mask on a plane. They always say, don't they? Put it on you first and then you're gonna be able to serve others. It's exactly the same and it is really tricky and I can imagine it's even trickier because he's older. Um, but reach out if you need any help. Remember, we've got our online cup and chats. They're free to attend. We've got our um, in-person cup and chats if you can come to them as well. We have tons and tons of support here. So don't be a stranger. If you need anything, just send us a message and we'll tell you where the support is. Um, let's have a look. Emma says it's going to be a tough holiday, but we're going to try and keep busy. Um, I have produced, although I've stuck it up on my wall now, I have a full six week plan, day by day, all colour coded. Um, 
it's the most structured thing I've ever done in my entire life. Um, but it's how my kids thrive. They like to have something visual on the wall. It tells them exactly who's at home, who's at work, what we're going to be doing, what sort of time, who's going to be coming with us. Um, and it really works well. And they help design it as well. Um, and you can download things online. But if you want one, we can design one and, and have it so that it's downloadable. So do just comment if that's something you think you could benefit from. Having like a visual chart on the wall. Um, I know my kids, like I say, they absolutely thrive on it. And we have words and visuals. So depending on their age and whether they're, you know, because kids, when they get very stressed out, they struggle to read, don't they? So I have something very visual, colour coded. It's beautiful. It's one of my proudest achievements. But if you want to copy, then just let me know, like a blank copy that you can fill in. You're very, very welcome to. Um, Hayley says, we have a loving and calm child. His school anxiety is gone. And now he, now that he doesn't have to go back in daily, he's so chilled. Hayley, do make a note of that because that is evidence right there that potentially he is in the wrong provision. So, you know, I, I've spoken to so many parents recently who say, I have to medicate my child to go to school Monday to Friday. And then I let them off the medication on the weekend because they're lovely and chilled and I just love them the way they are. And it breaks my heart that in order to fit into this box that the government have created, we have to actually medicate our kids like that is absolutely bonkers and it doesn't have to be that way. There are so many alternatives. If you want to understand more about alternatives, just ask us for some resources. Just comment here because we'll go through later on and we'll send you some links. We've got some great blogs and stuff that tells you about all the different provisions. We've got webinars coming up. There's tons that you can do, but you do not have to accept the nonsense that the government puts in place because it's that's not school is not the only way. Interestingly, an educator said to me recently, a lot of people think that children can only learn in a school. But actually, he said, teachers teach in a school. That's the place where they teach. It's not necessarily where the learning is done. And I thought, ah, I like that. I like that. I'm sure he said it more articulately than that. But you get my drift. Um, Jane says, reading through all the paperwork that your lovely ladies Kelly and Kelly have been doing for me, building up a trip to Disney for my daughter to dance. Oh, wow. Not sure how my son will cope with it. Do you know what, Jane? Managing two lots of needs in the family where you've got a child, your daughter sounds like she's an incredible dancer. She's off to Disney and she's going to do one of, the, one of the performances there. And then having to know that, you know, it's nice for the family to support her, but your son's going to find it tricky. Um... It's really, really tough. I'm so glad that you've got the Kellys <laughs> supporting you. We have got a lot of Kellys at Sunshine. Um, <laughs> and uh, it seems to be a very popular name, Sunshine Kelly. Um, and they are fantastic. Our Kellys are just amazing. Um, let me see. Oh, and Kathy Long is offering to supply me gin in person. I mean, does it get any better than that? I think you know when you've reached the peak of your life, when the Mary Poppins of social independent social work is offering to deliver gin to your door. I, I just don't know how my life can get any better, Kathy. <laughs> um, so Haley says the tribunal ripped the school to shreds. I've seen that before as well. My favorite phrase was a fundamental lack of understanding about financial provisions. Also that they're using another child's EHCP one-to-one -one for my son and that isn't acceptable it absolutely isn't we've seen this a lot lately where schools are loving the fact the parents have organized a one-to-one -one for a child and then sharing them amongst a class that's absolutely not okay if your ehcp states that your child has a one-to-one -one and it's properly written and it's specified and quantified then that one-to-one -one should not be shared with other children um she uh Haley says I feel proud us going to tribunal and fighting everyone, including school in the LA. Um, actually, it's going to help others, hopefully. It will. It will. This is exactly how I felt. Um, I had three tribunals for my first EHCP um, and we ended up at the high court and we won. Um, and it did feel, I did feel a bit like Anthony Joshua walking away from it. <laughs> and then the trauma came and smacked me in the face and I had a stroke. Um, but... Actually, that feeling of knowing that you've achieved that for your child and then the fact that, you know, other cases will be based upon yours is just amazing. 
Um, and when you've healed and come out the other side, come and give us a shout, Haley, because we're always looking for people like us, real tribal warriors in the send field um, to be able to support and help other people as well. Um, hi, Amanda. She says, I haven't caught a live in a while. <laughs> um, let's have a look. Uh, Revel, are you working with Dr. Navin Kikabe? 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 Kikabai? From the Alliance for Inclusive Education. We are not. But thank you very much for putting this on our radar. We will absolutely take a look. Thank you very much. Um, Lisa says, are they advertised, the cup and chat? I do keep seeing it pop up, but I never remember. Yes, any time you remember to book, just go to our website and everything is done for you. So it'll say on our website, she says, I'm going to have a quick look now. Um, it does say events and webinars. And all of our events, including the cup and chat, are all on there. Um, alternatively, there is a section for our community hub. Um, and if you want to come in person, we've got all of our events for the community hub, which is in Derby, on our website as well. So we do a mixture of online um, and in-person stuff. Um, Nat says, pray my, my girly likes short breaks, has managed after an 18-month wait to get a two days a week starting tomorrow. Told her it's a summer club. Oh, that's amazing. Fingers crossed, Nat. Let us know how she's doing. Um, did you know that the BCODP come from Derby and had the first centre for independent living across the country? No, I did not. Oh, you're, you're full of brilliant information tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, love the idea of a visual chart. Can we see? Yes, I will post one later on for you is that all right i will i will get it all i'll get mine wiped off so it's just a completely blank chart um and then i'll post it online and depending on how creative you are you might need you might be able to like edit it in your computer or your phone or alternatively just print it off and write stuff on or get your kids to write it so it's like designed by them so that they can really communicate with it thank you nat for sharing the cup and chat online link that's amazing um Oh, I like this quote. Revel, you're full of them tonight. This is great. More hugging our children, not drugging them and showing them unconditional love. I love that. Absolutely love it. Um, Amanda says, my son was having 10 hours home tuition before the holiday. He's been given a placement an hour away and he's not going to cope. I'm going to be using this time to fight this decision. Good for you. Good for you. Um, it's... <sighs> It's bonkers. They they don't think holistically about the child and what their needs are. Um, so absolutely fight it. And you know where we are. If you need us, just give us a shout. Um, Natasha says, please can we have a link of, to alternatives, alternative provision, because we're looking at one or two primary age and the other post-16. Crazy has been said about post-16 because we live in a village and we have limited choice. It's a nightmare. All kids should be more inclusive, not a lottery. Interestingly enough, we're doing a lot of management at the moment of the OTAS packages um, and there's some people that are going to be using the community hub for just that. So they are actually using them for lessons for almost like a, an alternative provision. Um, so as we do more of these, we will talk to you about them so that you can actually chat to your local authorities about considering them, particularly if you're local, of course. Um, but yes, I will send you a link to some blogs that uh, will help you um would love would love to help you once we get our son sorted yeah absolutely get in touch this is exactly what we are so whilst i'm on tonight i wanted to explain to you that we have such a busy summer of activities that it it's a little bit bonkers we can't squeeze it all onto one infographic at the moment we are trying our best we're redesigning it every single hour at the moment but our summer is absolutely action packed. Um, we've got tons of online stuff for you. We've got tons of stuff in person as well. So we are based in Derby, but we cover all of England. We cover Wales as well. Um, however, if you can get to us or you want to get to us, uh, then we have lots of stuff in person that you can come along to. Um, so I thought that I would just talk you through some of the things that we've got on so that you can see that there's plenty of support available over the holidays. So, we've got a really busy 1st of August. We've got two amazing things that we've never done before. The first one is we've got a brand new in-person class for the whole family. 
and it's called Emotions in Motion, where we're going to be exploring emotions and physical feelings as we're doing some gentle exercises. Now, it's not going to be a hit class. We're not going to be muscle men <laughs> and, uh, you know, practicing for some kind of competitive sport or anything. It is literally gentle movement, which will help our kids. It'll help them with their regulation, help them with all the sensory stuff. It'll help them with communication as well. But we're also going to be looking at us as adults. How do we bust that stress? How do we make sure it's not taking its toll on our bodies? As somebody who didn't look after themselves and ended up in a very difficult position uh, with my health, I want to share this with everybody because that physical exercise will absolutely help. help. And it's basically we have um, a personal trainer that's specialist uh, for parents and we have a personal trainer who's specialist for children and they've all been trained in special educational needs and sensory and trauma. Um, and we also have on site a psychotherapist who's going to be there to help us with our feelings. And also, if we struggle a little bit or our kids struggle, she's going to be there to be able to help. Um, I will be there. And we also have an advocate there as well, Sarah. So there's tons of support. And I just think it's going to be a lovely time for families to get together and do something really different. So that is happening on the 1st um, of August. You'll be able to book that soon. Um, also on the 1st of August, we have something completely different that we've never done before. Um, dads. Dads get forgotten about all the time. And also, I don't know many dads that put their hands up and say, actually, I fancy connecting with other dads because I'm struggling. So we are providing a safe space for dads. And we have got four people on the founding committee, all dads and stepdads of Send Kids. And they're going to be getting together on the 1st at 7 o'clock at our Sunshine Hub in Derby. So if that's something you're interested in, you can actually book onto that on our website right now. So you're more than welcome to book onto that. On the 2nd of August, we have got our Mental Capacity webinar with the fantastic Cathy Long. Uh, Cathy is going to be talking through what happens when your child hits the age of 16. So many people think that adulthood starts at 18. Adulthood in the eyes of the law starts at 16. And our children all have presumed capacity unless assessed otherwise. So if your child hasn't had an official mental capacity assessment at 16, they can cease to, um, to maintain their EHCP. They can leave home, they can leave school. None of these things are deemed to be wrong. If you know what I mean, it may be unwise and that's OK. But if they don't have a capacity assessment that says that they have uh, they're lacking in capacity, then they have presumed capacity. So it's a real big one. Actually, we have a lot of problems in this area with families and they tend to explore it when it's a problem. So I would say anybody with an aged child who's 14 upwards really do need to have a look at this one. That's happening on the second. We've got lots of cup and chats. So. Every other Wednesday, we have a cup and chat online at 8.30 at night. Um, you can join that. It's free of charge. Do come along. All the details are on our website. And then every Thursday through the holidays, we have an in-person cup and chat, which has a tiny little uh, donation cost just to cover the cost of coffees and things like that. Um, but that's at our Sunshine Hub in Derby. So that's every Thursday. And the kids can come. So I mentioned earlier, we've got a sensory area, we've got places for them to chill out, we've got bean bags. Come along, bring whatever devices they need, their tablets, their computers, their phones, whatever. Just come along, meet other parents, feel validated and the kids will chill out hopefully as well. It's a very nice space. My kids have designed it for everybody. <laughs> and I've got some sensory seekers and sensory avoiders. So hopefully it's a nice space for everybody. Um, we've got a webinar on the 4th of August and that's where we're going to be looking at how we support our children who are transgender or non-binary and this is an area that you know we're learning about all the time it's something that I'm really really interested in at the moment um, because I simply just don't know enough um, and it's really really important that we understand them because actually when we understand our children who are transgender and we support them effectively 
their mental health is so much better. The statistics are bonkers. You know, when they're not supported properly, suicide rates go through the roof. Um, and we don't want that. We do not want that. So it's really important we understand that. So we're going to be running a webinar that's online and that's on the 4th. All the details for these are on our website. Um, we have another webinar the following week on trauma, my favourite ever topic. So we're going to be talking about what causes trauma, what it looks like, how it presents in different people, um, why it affects us all differently, why we can remember some and can't remember others. Um, we're going to be looking at trauma as a family and intergenerational trauma, passing it down through generations. But the big bit is really, you know, understanding what trauma is um, and then understanding how we actually treat it. And there's plenty that we can do within the family. We do not need cams. <laughs> so many people rely on cams. There's so much you can do within the family. The best stuff comes from within the family. So do come along to that if you fancy learning more about trauma. We've got another class um, on emotions in motion, which is the one I mentioned earlier. Um, and then we've got a brand new workshop. This one is going to be absolutely phenomenal. So on the 18th of August, we have a workshop in person at our Sunshine Hub where you get to come in and write your application for an EHC needs assessment and we'll check it. So we will train you in the law. We will train you in the legislation that you need to understand in order to write the application. And we'll also train you in the process of the EHC needs assessment. And then you'll spend a number of hours perfecting that application letter and we will work with you on the day our advocates will be there in person helping you to perfect that letter making it as robust as possible so that you know you've got a, the best chance of getting an EHC needs assessment carried out and the plan written at the end as well it doesn't get better than this so if you know anyone who is looking to apply for an EHC needs assessment this is the one they need to come to um, it's nine o'clock till 12 30 in the morning um, on the 18th of august so it's an absolutely amazing one do share that with friends because this is going to be phenomenal we've only got space for 20 of course because we need to have time to get around everyone um, and then we have another brand new webinar about disability discrimination uh, which is going to be fantastic brand new speaker fantastic solicitor called tanya thomas she's out of this world um, and she wins some really big university cases on disability discrimination. So if that's something you're interested in, do come along to that. And we, we have got so many social events happening over the summer, the Cup and Chat. And we're also going to be sticking some more stuff in as well. We're hoping to get some return to school preparation for you um, or for your kids. Um, and so do keep an eye out on our Facebook page, but also have a look on our website as well, because there's just so much that we want to share with you. There's so much we want to do to help you. Um, so Revel says, are you a charity or a B Corp business? We're actually a community interest company currently, um, and we are soon to be launching a charity. Um, so more than happy to discuss that, uh, in more detail. If you want to just send us a message. Um, Yes, we're doing a Pans Panda session soon as well, Catherine. There's so much going on at the moment. It's bonkers. Um, Michelle says, oh, Michelle, I've lost your comment. There it is. The stress has re recently beaten me and I'm, le and I'm led watching you from a hospital bed. Oh, I left watching you from a hospital bed after almost losing my life. They say caused by the stress and care of burnout. Karina has been amazing though. And I'm so grateful for the free hours you guys have given us to try and help. Thank you so much. Oh, Michelle. You know, it's it's a real thing. I think so many people push it down. So many of us send parents go, I'm fine. We plod on, we fight on. Um, and it's not until you've gone through it and then it's hit you like that, that you really realise you were never fine. You were never looking after yourself. Um, I've been there. I completely get it. And I'm just so sorry that you've gone through all of this. Um, a message to everyone else is look after yourself. You know, and that doesn't mean comfort eating in front of the TV. It's one of the worst things you can do for your health. Trust me, I've been there as well. <laughs> um, but you have to look after yourself. This is why we're doing all these sessions. We're trying to promote that self-care, the time for you, time to switch off, time to offload. We've got plenty of opportunities for you to do that at Sunshine. It's what we believe. It's, it's, our, core, it's our core belief 
is self-care because unless you look after yourself you can't look after anyone else so do indulge in those opportunities of self-care they're very simple there's not a huge amount of commitment involved you know we've got our online cup and chat we've got our in-person cup and chat we've got our fitness sessions our emotions emotion sessions which i'm telling you now will absolutely promote all the most wonderful things in your body um for those who've watched me quite a lot recently i've completely turned my physical health around just from doing trauma therapy i say just let's take out the just i have done a lot of trauma therapy two and a half years of trauma therapy and almost a year of um personal training and it has absolutely changed my life doesn't mean that i'm some beach bod although everybody's got a beach bod haven't they um it's it's not that i'm sort of striving to be something like that as for me it's about improving my health and making sure that my blood pressure drops and that i don't have another stroke i don't have a heart attack i'm around to see and care for my children and love them and enjoy them um, and enjoy me as well you know um and be able to supply supply you guys with support because that's essentially what we do all day long every day um so it's really really important that self-care so we've tried and tested all these things i wouldn't be offering them to you if i didn't think they were any good i've tried them for myself if we find that they're brilliant as a team then we offer them to you guys they're all vetted all tried all tested so indulge in them enjoy them a lot of these services that we are providing are absolutely free or very 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 low cost so absolutely enjoy them take advantage of them while you can um somebody says cams are useless um i completely agree <laughs> we've never had a positive story about cams um let's see a high number of neurodiverse children are lgbtqia plus and this is why we need to shift towards above and beyond duality and reject the old 3d ways of living absolutely your comments just jumped somewhere but you're absolutely 100 percent correct um but until we learn more we know even as parents we need to be able to learn more in order to be able to support our children effectively otherwise we're not going to do a very good job it guesswork can often be quite damaging as well can't it so it's really really important that we get it right we understand um and we get it right for our kids they deserve the best from us as parents um so i think that i've managed to answer a lot most of your questions but if i haven't there have been a lot of comments um do get in touch with us um and let us know if you need any support any help whatsoever um do check out our website in terms of the uh the summer events let me just pop those on here for you so our community hub is live and kicking do come and see it it's beautiful it's so airy um i'll just post a link to all the community hub events in derby um and then i will also post a link to all of our general events so online and in person uh, we've got something for everyone this this summer um so hopefully um there'll be something that you feel like you can enjoy and indulge in and a lot of these events your children are welcome as well so do check them out um and of course if you've got any top tips to survive the summer do share them on this thread because other parents will be looking um and it's lovely to be able to share that uh, those survival tips um but i'm going to love you and leave you now everyone if you need us give us a shout never ever suffer in silence if you need us just send us a message we're absolutely here for you uh we work far too many hours and there's usually somebody available the one thing i must say we are not we're not a crisis line we're not an emergency service there's been a lot of parents trying to put us under pressure this weekend to provide an emergency service that's not who we are it's not what we're advertising that we are um and we don't actually work weekends but we try our best to manage the messaging service best we can uh, but we're not a funded service so it is really tricky but please do not get aggressive with us because we have not that because we've well we're not carrying out the services that the actual services should be doing you know there are social care crisis lines there is the nhs and there is the police as well in extreme cases if you feel that you're in danger do contact the police 
please don't put our staff under that level of pressure and blame them for not coming out to emergency calls. That's not what we are. We are the salt of the earth people and we will help wherever we can. But there are limits to our um, superpowers. So with, without further ado, I'm going to say good night. Have a lovely week. Do check out our Facebook page for anything that's coming up. See that the, if there's any support available for you. But like I said, if you need anything, if you've got any questions, if you want to chat with anyone, just send us a message. We will do our absolute best to support you. But have a lovely evening. Have a lovely week. Stay strong. Um, and uh, I'm sure I'll be on again in a few days time. Speak to you soon. Bye.